parentheses in this lesson that uh, is talking about percentages again. But uh, they do something, some kind of funny business right here, right? So it's actually, they say 42% and suddenly it's 40%? No. 42% is actually 42%, okay? As it turns out in this lesson, <clears throat> at least when we get to the homework, wherever you see estimate, you're just going to cross it out. All right? Also, if you see the word about, cross it out as well. So again, we see this. Estimate the percent of a number, right? So we're just going to take that estimate and cross her out. All right, for example, on this one, this first example they give in the book, Jody has paid 62% of the $500 she owes for her loan. Bam, 62% of 500. What is it? 62%. Well, it's about a 300 and... Something percent. $10. So, notice 62, right? We're just going to move the decimal over twice. So you got 0.62 times the 500. Bam, 310. So you guys will notice they have these word problems as well, which most of you love and enjoy. Okay. So let's look at this one. Uh, Marita and four of her friends ordered a pizza that cost fourteen seventy-two, but she's only going to pay twenty percent of the bill. But how much money will she need to pay? Well. Notice it's 20% of this 1472. So 20% as decimal is? 0.2. Very good. 0.2 multiplied by 1472. So how much did she pay? $2.94. Very good. $2.94. We're going to do A. And thank you, sir. Okay. It is 50.4. Uh, oh, how did you do that? I got 0. 0.42 times 120. Can you write that on there so that okay. everyone can see? Wait, that's no, no, I can't find the videos on Canvas. Except on multiple choice. Done. Excellent. Okay, does everyone see that? You move the decimal over twice, multiply, good. Here we'll do B. I am so good. Awesome. Whatever you call me. Okay, so. I'm reading, don't worry. Well, I, I did it mentally, but I have to read. Write it, yeah, yeah. Okay. So there's 80%. And to any percent? No. Okay, so he is going to put 8% into his account and spend the other 20%. So you do 80 minus 20 and equals 40, right? Right, yeah. I'm going to do it right? 60, that's what I meant. That's a 6. So, um, so you get 60, and then you do, then you change it to a decimal, so you do point sixty, uh, and times it by 295. Give me a second. Point sixty times two ninety five, and you get one seven seven, right? No, well, close. dollars. Oh, label. All right. Uh, thank you, Bridger. Okay. Well, this is a good example, okay? Because how many percentages did they give you? Two. Right, so 
How many of you thought that you had to use both of them? Be honest. One, two, one person that will admit it. Okay, as it turns out, uh, for this one, yeah, only one of these was actually, you only need to use one of them, okay? Yeah, that's, that's why I'm explaining it. Okay. Are you going to explain all the better in offense? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, notice uh, what Bridger did is he subtracted these. Why, Bridger? Because it felt right. <laughs> It's saying that he had a paycheck he put in, so then if he has another 20%, then he spends it, right? No, it just spend the other 20% of paycheck. No, it just spends All right. Well, that makes sense. Kind of. Uh, so, so here's the way this works, right, is this is how much his paycheck is every week, 295 right? And uh, how much is he putting, how much, what percentage of the paycheck is he putting into the savings? 80. 80. So it's just uh, 295 times the 0. 0.8, which equals 236, right? So it should be 236 smackeries. Okay. Sorry, Bridger. 177 is 60% of 295, but we wanted 80%. This is the only purpose for the estimation stuff, okay? Is that at the end of year test, not on the chapter test, which you guys will take sometime. Uh, what they're going to do is they're going to say, for example, they're going to say estimate. So they're going to say estimate 27% of 240, and then they're, it, but it will be multiple choice. So this would be for an example of the multiple choice. And so you guys would say, well, I don't know how to estimate, but I can find the actual percentage. So you do 0 0.27 it's times 240, oh, which I is 64.8. Well, which of these is closest to 64.8? <coughs> 60, so the answer would be B. Uh, percents greater than 100%. So if you take a number and multiply it by something greater than 100%, you'll get a number that is bigger or greater than. Higher. Not smaller. Okay. What if you multiply a number by something less than 100%? You get a smaller number or a lower number or a less than number. What if you multiply a number by 100%? Then you get the number. Okay. Yeah, right. just get the number. Good. Okay. On this example, 3, 122% of 50, would you expect a number bigger or smaller than 50? Big, probably bigger. Bigger, why? Very good. It's more than 100%. All right. Thank you, Jess. 348 is good. Very good, Carson. Excellent work. All right. So 278 on a piece. Okay. All right. Uh, let me show you guys uh, one more way to do this before we move on to the next part. So oh, there's more. For example, so give me a number. Five. So 5% five. So five of? 74. 89. Sure. 85 is good. I said 80. I heard 85. All right. 5% of 85. Just so you guys know, another way you can do this, uh, this works because of the commutative property of multiplication. Uh, if you wanted to move the decimal on this one, you could. You could do 5 times 0.85 and you'd get the same. Yeah, 4.25, right? Got it. Well, if you did 0 0.05 times 85, what do you get? 4.25. So as it turns out, it doesn't matter which way you, which one you move the decimal on. It just got to move the decimal. Okay. All right, real quickly on this uh, fourth example... Notice we got one-fourth of a percent here, 
And some of you guys have been struggling with this one because it's a one fourth percent, okay? Yeah. What is one fourth percent as a decimal? Um, 0.25. Lonnie, that is very close. It's one fourth as a decimal is point. Oh. Uh, yeah, point. Point two five. Are you losing your mind? Thank you. Point two five, but it's point two five percent, right? Yeah. So you have to move it. Now you have to move the decimal over, so it would actually be as a decimal point zero zero two five. I wish someone would have told me that before, so I would have known. Oh, it's on that book. Oh, $7.89. Where did you get $12? No, 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 it's... What did you get $12? 7 dollars And what does it equal, Lonnie? Oh. Uh, $2. $2 what? $2.55? Well, this... Money. Is that right? Oh, okay. okay what, uh, what does that equal? Uh, the calculator? Point zero zero two Should be close to two. Five it's 1.97. No, 1.97. In this case, it would be students. Can you have 0.97 students? Possible. Nope. Some of them I wish were. But uh, some... Hey, so, it, as it turns out, we would say this would be uh, two students still. Yeah. Okay, so it, for the percentage, it would be 0.75%, but then you change that to 0.0075, and then you multiply that by that and then you get hang on. seven dollars and sixty-five cents bam seven dollars sixty-five cents